Shalom, shalom, y'all, Sharala. I'm going to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashev, Yahweh Shah, Bahashev Rakadash, which in the Pele Ruhubu tongue, kind of the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle Elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you, sister, and brother, and true. And Shalom to brothers and sisters that's listening and studying, show themselves approved. Woo, check this out, y'all, Sharala. So Esau has a. A little short cartoon on the YouTube, which is basically showing what he wants his global reset, how he wants it to run and operate, which we know through the scriptures is called the B system. So we're going to watch this clip. As we watch it, I'm going to stop, speculate, and get the scriptures and show you just how everything in this clip we're going to watch is, is very, very biblical. And it is very close, too. All Esau needs right now is... The right crisis to kick it off, which they're talking about that now, discussing it, you can tell. And they already ran like a pre-trip to get the numbers right, to see, you know, what they need to tighten up at. And when they do it the second time, they're going to initiate the B system, which is going to, they call it the global reset to sound politically correct. So let's watch a short clip and I'm going to show you Esau's fantasy of how he wants everybody to live. back I wanted to catch did you catch what was on his right arm y'all Sharala see if I can get it check this out now watch me what watch his right arm what's on it as he goes hit the coffin now I missed it again but you see what I'm talking about he has a device that's on his right arm, you know, and I, I thought I could get it. See it on his right arm? There, the there, I got it. See that? See that device? Now, see? In the scriptures, see, Esau can't tell you everything. But in the scriptures, that's not going to just be a band on, around your wrist. No, that's going to be a device that's going to be implanted in your body. In your body, let's go get it. And you're going to have to have that in order to live in those type of facilities. And a lot of Jays going to think they're good because they're living like that. And after a while, they're going to see that ain't good. So let's go to Revelation 
because he has that 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 badge of dishonor around this thing and esau is going to put it in your body that way you can't take it off so this is uh revelation 13 and 16 it says that he calls them all both small and great rich and poor free and bonds receive a mark in the right hand or in their foreheads in 17 and that no man might buy or sell said he had the mark or the name of his beast or the number of his name here is wisdom let him have understanding count the number of the beast for it is the number of man is number 603 score and six which is going to be that barcode that's going to be on the device that's going to be implantable because when you look up the word mark goes a horagma and that shows a, a, a insert in your body so that's the only thing that's kind of that's showing kind of false on but Hey, we running it through the scriptures. So watch how they how they doing everybody in the system. Gonna give you a little 20 by 20 studio. As <laughs> you get to see little little stacks of cell blocks. Social credit scores, you see that? Got social credit scores. Let me run through that. Despite all the extraordinary. There's some fantasizing a good life, but I ran through that clip earlier because they was going to say something that was going to get the channel clip. You know how YouTube is, Yashirala, but. I put the whole full video in the description box or the comment board so you can watch it all the way through, no interruptions, but they was going to say something that I couldn't let them say. But this is him fantasizing about, you know, what they say, go back to normal or normal life, the life you used to have. Your weekly food ration has arrived. Look at that. See that? You see, did you see the little bug food? <laughs> you know, the, the bugs, that's what they want everybody to eat, man. They say we can't eat chickens, cows, you know, how we used to eat. Now they want everybody eating bugs. Because Klaus Schwab, you know, the, the president of the World Economic Forum, he said that's what he want everybody to be eating. Because it's cheap, easy to manufacture, and plus, they're the devil. So they want you eating bugs. Watch this. You see that? He just got zapped for not wearing the mask on his nose. He couldn't even get a, you know, a breath of fresh air. That was against the rules. And he got zapped for that, you know? Now, when they get these camps rolling and you in a big enough violation, say your credit score run out or you just too much to handle, they got guillotines to where they'll just, you know, off with your head if you're going to comply with what they're telling you to do. And you see right there, he didn't have a mask all the way up. He got zapped by them drones. The drones are gonna be flying all around. It's gonna be a big military military presence in those facilities. You know the Esau got going. So check this out, Yashra. Check this part out too. <laughs> Garbage entertainment. We dealing with that now.
garbage entertainment. The Godfather movie is banned from our database for misrepresentation and stereotypization of the Italian community. Ain't watch good movies no more. Pulp Fiction movie is banned from our database for excessive violence and racist content. The movie 1984 never existed. <laughs> I guess we live it in. You see that? So he don't work. Just get up. Can't get no good entertainment. Um, just totally trapped, man. And the scripture said that would happen. So let's go to second. No, Salaki. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. And it says, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because there are few and those that look out of their windows be darkened. You peep that? It said when the grinders cease, ain't nobody working that's in them little facilities. Ain't going to be no go to work and get a job and leave your car and go to work. No, you're going to set off in that little cubicle they give you, that little cell they give you. And you're going to get your little rations and you're going to watch a little BS entertainment they got. And it's going to be like, you're going to be like in that little area. You know, they got, they call it 15 minute city. So you might be somewhere where you can go somewhere 15 minutes. And you got to be back into the house. And you've seen that in that clip. That's, that's the future of this place. All the jobs going to tank. The market, the economy is going to tank. And Esau, the way he's going to back that up is he's going to say, okay, I got a digital currency. A digital system. I got a facility. You'll be safe. You'll get your daily rations. Come here and you'll be good. And the trade off on that is that you're going to have to take that MOTB. You got to get that device in your hand or in your head that's going to put you in their database. And you're just going to stay. That's a worse type of life to me. You're going to just stay trapped, you know? And see, a lot of people are going to go for that because they need that, that peace of safety, they need that security. That's I'm looking at that ain't gonna be a good trade off, you know. And it said those that look out their windows be dark. And you just see him go out his little his little balcony. He try to get some breath of fresh air, and he got zapped by the by the drone, man. So when he go and look out his window, you go see him do that a lot. It's gonna be dark, and he don't see no future. That's what that mean. Ain't no future in living like that. Ain't nowhere you can go. You basically like a a little lab rat to Esau. And that stance, man, he just you know. This getting this just got you there, man. In the system. So let's go. So I like to I'm gonna read verse four too. Ecclesiastes twelve and four, and it said, "The door shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low." Music is garbage right now. Daughters of music has been brought low. Music is not good no more, and you can tell that because society is not good no more. You saw society. Is in the trash can. It's going to stay there, too. And you see, he tried to look up some certain movies. It's going to be the point they can't do, you know, certain songs, certain lyrics. You can't do that. That's not politically correct. That's not woke. That's not promoting diversity and all that other alphabet agenda stuff. So they not going to be there. You see, he's single. They ain't going to promote relationships no more. You're going to be by yourself. They're going to do lab-grown births. And you're just going to stay in your, your little cubicle. That's where you're going to be at. There ain't gonna be no more grind. I don't go to work. I'm get up, watch some BS, be watched 24 7.
Grinding has ceased. Stay compliant. Stay isolated. Stay safe. And now, on to other news. Say goodbye to cows and beef. As you might know, cows and livestock agriculture in general is a source of methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. Cows fart, and the temperature on Earth rises one degree with each cow fart, contributing to global warming. This is why the authorities started a cow extermination program, and today the last herd of cows has been dealt with. The Earth has officially become a cow-free planet, and climate change is finally under control. You might get concerned, where would we obtain our proteins from? Chicken and pork are not commonly accessible products, and beef is gone now. Do not worry. Hundreds of alternative protein manufacturing facilities have been constructed on each continent. They process thousands of tons of protein-rich food. This alternative food contains way more protein than beef. It is cheap to cultivate and it doesn't contribute to global warming. Kudos to science and green agenda. That is all for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow's news. You see that? So they want you eating bugs, y'all, Sherala. And then, like, how dumb you gotta be to think that a cow poop is the reason we're having global warming. And cows have always been here. Cows are part of the ecosystem. So you got to be a straight idiot to believe that. We have more cows in the ancient world than it is now because, you know, humans kill so many cows now. So I'm like, ain't no way Esau can get me to believe that, man. But, you know, you got these dummies. Man. I'm college educated in the sciences. And they just dumb as I don't know what. Bruce Kowalski. Your monthly universal basic income has been deposited into your account. For more information, press details. You have been paid 2,000 central bank digital tokens. The following fees are being deducted. Accommodation fee. Food ration fee. Recycling fee. Clean energy fee. Personal greenhouse gas emissions fee. Climate change fee. Diversity fee. Your current remaining balance is five central bank digital tokens, and if not spent, it will expire in seven days. You see that? Did you see that, Yashra? That's your universal basic income. So he get 2,000 digital, you know, CBDCs, central bank digital currencies, because that's what the money going to turn into. I can do is look at the news feed. You can see it. Esau keep talking about central bank digital currency. Central bank digital currency. That's all you see. Everybody going to go to that. That's what the money going to go to. So he got his little universal basic income. Then he had all these little crazy fees that Esau do. Esau always do. So by the time he got deducted with all the little craziness, how they do our checks now, he was left with what? $5. <laughs> and he said he had like, what, seven days to spend after they expires? See, the digital currency, it can expire because it's not a physical currency. And plus, Esau know where you're spending at. You probably can't buy what you want to buy. It's just, Esau about to put people in way more hell with this global reset, man. It's going to be horrible. As you can see, that's how it's, it's going to be something like that, man. And they see these dummies think, oh, universe, baby, that's good. I ain't got to work. But yeah, this devil going to swipe everything from you where you still, you ain't going to get nothing or get nowhere. You know, the dude had five current, five digital, five dollars, and then his deductions. What you gonna do with that? You know, he got a, he got to wait a whole month 
to get what? 20 digital currencies? Come on, man. Let's say the people going to better. This stuff ain't about to last. Esau, this is straight fantasy for Esau. This will not be sustainable. <laughs> Just watch some more. Look, stuff he can't afford. Attention. Important announcement. Dear residents of the quarantine facility number 89. Okay, I'm about to speed past this because it's about to talk about something else that we can't talk about. But that's why I put in the description box so you can watch it. So I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to one more part to show how it happened. Let's show, show Klaus Schwab. Let me play this part too to see who the World Economic dude. He in this too. Let's check it out. represents a rare but narrow window of opportunity to reflect, reimagine, and reset our world. That's the devil right there. This fool think it's a good idea, like most of you do. Emergency point. in some areas there you go. and real we got to get everybody out their house and we'll do something like this. Emergency in some areas and relocating citizens to safe and isolated quarantine. Despite strict lockdowns being in place, the virus cases keep growing exponentially. The government is considering the option of proclaiming a state of emergency in some areas and relocating citizens to safe and isolated quarantine facilities. Attention all citizens. Your district is contaminated and you will be evacuated immediately. Please take only necessary personal belongings and step outside of your homes. You will be transported to a safe isolated location. going to tell you that you got to leave your house and leave this area is contaminated and they're going to put you to the, the nearest FEMA camps because that's what them places are they're going to be camps you know and that's where they're going to get the opportunity to take the MOTB if you refuse they're just going to off with your head they can't let you be out here running you know on your own they just go that's why you don't want to really be in those facilities because then you're going to be hit with that trial you know they're going to issue at the MOTB, and if you refuse it, they're going to just, you know, out back, guillotine, and be done with it. That's why they got a lot of caskets that's with the FEMA camps as well, too. So I'm going to end off with this to show you that your devil's about to make that move. Like, we're in the season of that. This could happen in, like, the next two or three years or even sooner. You know, because these devil's ready to locking on down, which this ain't going to last either. It's going They're going to get it up and running. And then the Lord is going to blow it all up. It's not going to be sustainable. You know, so this is 2nd Edge 1622. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And, ah, oh, this ain't what I want. So lock you. Let me get 2nd Edge 16 and 72. That's what I want. 
72. Yeah. Second Andrew 16, 72. And it reads, For they should waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. That's about to happen. I can see FEMA coming through and taking everybody's food out their house, man. Kick dog, take their food. The next they're gonna say, oh, uh, cut the electric off, cut the power off. Have it's gonna be chaos everywhere, and they're gonna put up the emergency announcement. If you want to, you know, peace and safety, if you want security and food and took care of, report to these facilities. They're gonna bring out buses, like you see in the clip, and people that don't know no better gonna go on the buses and go right to their destruction. Right to their destruction. Don't even know it. Like, because they don't know what's going on. That's why us and this truth, we got to hey, give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashi Yahweh Shah, that we know what's going on, know what's happening. We're going to move different than these people do. Because they're going to go right to the slaughter. They don't know what Esau's doing. They done heard, but they didn't take the, the warning seriously. So when it comes, and they're going to be such in a state of panic and fear that they're going to do what Esau tells them to do. Us, hey, we're looking for the Lord to protect us, man. And plus, we're not trying to go to them facilities. We're not going to go, you know, hey, man, hopefully the Lord, you know, hides us, put us in a secret place, or we be prudent and foresee it coming, and we move around, or we just don't go when the devil tell us you got to go. Because they're going to use fear to draw these people to these camps, man. And we're not in that state. So, hey, Lord willing that we don't get snatched up and threw in no camp. Hopefully they, they do it to where, like we just seen this clip, they just put the, the announcement out and you go on your own. Because the ones that go, man, they're going to be all clipped up. We're not going to go because we know what they're going to do in those camps. And those camps are going to issue at the MOTB. When you take the MOTB, you're done. You're finished. Ain't no hope for you. And if you're in the camp, man, the Lord ain't with you, man. They're going to try to put your head in the guillotine if you don't want to take it. You know, because the scriptures say that those that will not take the MOTB, receive that mark, hey, they should be. Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's get it. I ain't going to sit here and butcher it. Let's go get it. Check it out. This is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. And that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed so esau's not gonna play with this motb if you will not receive that he gonna want to off with your head and we like we not going for that so we got to come with the full power in the faith of your high boss yahweh shah that lord willing he protects us when the devil seek to put their hands on us because it's about to get to that point man the devil like shh, my whole covering is blown. I'm exposed. Hey, let's go ahead and initiate the plan. Let's go ahead and get it going. You know, all the technology is in place for them to do this. So I just want to show you that Esau is showing people what he's about to do through his little cartoons and his entertainment TV shows. This devil ain't hiding nothing. He's showing you what he want to do. So, hey, like I said earlier, man, we got to thank the Lord that we know what's going on. So, I'm going to end off with this right here. I was going to end off with that, but something else in my spirit. Let's go to Isaiah 33 and 6, one of my favorites. Because this is what's going to help us out. And this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And it says, And wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So we, we good, man. We in this truth. We in the house of David. You know, we got the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So we're going to be stable. See, these people ain't going to be stable when this stuff hit. When Esau really started doing that rug pull and started talking that craziness, all the numbers is going up. This is happening. You better go do this. You better go do that. We ain't going to be running. These people going to run like with a chicken their head cut off. Oh, my Lord. The novel. I got to go do this. I got to go do that. I'm going to the new, the new, uh, whatever he going to call it. He ain't going to call it a FEMA camp. He's going to have a nice name for a uh, quarantine zone. He going to probably call it a safe zone. <laughs> To make it sound like, you know, something sexy for Jake. A safe zone. I'm going to go to the safe zone 44. I'm going to be good. You know, and they don't know, man. You getting clipped up. And they, that's why hey, having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be everything. We're going to be stable. Because as our faith going to increase as these things hit. Because we're like, I, I was told this is going to happen. Here it go. 
you know. So I just wanted to show that I'm gonna put that that video and look for the description box. Or I'll probably, I'll probably put it in the comment board. I think people can access it easy in the comment board. It's easier. So I'll put that in there. You can watch the whole thing through. And you see, you know, Esau's little, little diabolical plan. He wants to get off the ground. So I hope this is informative and edifying. I want to say, Kwan Yashirala, Bitebo Bob, Shalom Wong.